Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, creating uh, this uh, really cool business card animation. So uh, what we're going to be building is basically uh, two uh, different views and we can uh, compose them together. So when you tap on a view, you can actually flip it back and uh, then uh, look at other details and then tap again and flip it to the, um, the main uh, front facing of the business card. Okay, so this is what we're going to be uh, creating in this video today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, now, in order to get started, like you know, we're going to create some um, some views. Uh, so let's go ahead and create those first. So I'm going to create a struct for a front card first, and uh, this one is going to have a body. Voice. Okay. Now um, we're gonna wrap everything in B stack. That's gonna start with a spacer, and then eight stack. Okay. Now we're gonna use circular uh, image. So. We can either uh, create a uh, uh, an image and apply properties over there, like you know, uh, circular property and stuff, or we can create a struct uh, that's going to be uh, returning us a circular image. So let's go ahead and create a circular image uh, struct or view. Okay, and uh, we're going to create image. Gonna be image string and then body. So this uh, is going to be expecting this view is going to be expecting image a string to be passed in, and then we're gonna render the image with the image that's being passed in and make it resizable. Uh, set this frame to be. We can set this. Uh, right now to be like you know, 100, 100, but you can, in your code, you can always uh, take that as a configuration. Clip shape, and you're gonna clip shape as a circle. Then you're gonna add overlay. Overlay is gonna be a circle. width to be three for the border and then we're gonna have a shadow of radius nine okay so um, now we can use this um, the circular image that we just created inside our front card so we can have a circular image and uh, oh, it, it expects image so we're gonna say DT logo to be the image and we're gonna create our V stack Next, with text, and, uh, I'm going to give a font to our text and foreground color. Okay, uh, while we are building, actually, I'm going to start uh, running this. So we can see how far along we are. Front card icon. Okay, so this is what we have. That's perfect. Um, so we have the text, and then we're gonna create H stack, and uh, create another image system name, and this is gonna be envelope. With foreground color to be white. The text. This is basically expecting like showing the email and expecting the email address. Okay. Let's give it a font. Subheadline. 
or around white, okay? And um, then let's give this padding and background. So we're gonna have a background of type capsule, okay, with frame defined as width to be 400 and height to be yeah width uh, I don't think we need height uh, we can simply offset and x axis about 20 point okay and uh, that's going to close our background um, okay and uh, then we can have a spacer and another text okay so this text is going to be a website name and foreground color to be white frame to be max width infinity background color dot orange corner radius about 20 points and shadow of 10 points okay let's go ahead and run this and see what we have so far okay so that is uh, what we are uh, getting and uh, now um, As you can see, we are uh, we have our text view, our image, and everything showing up all right. And uh, okay, let's do this. Um, modify this a bit, and uh, I'm gonna give this a black color. And uh, these two properties we should apply on the external frame. So this is our B stack, and let's give this a frame as well with width 400, height 200, okay, and uh, we need a background, and uh, let's give it a background dot color dot orange. See what we've got. So we are actually trying to contain this uh, card right here with a um, with a frame, and there's a background, corner radius, and shadow. So that looks more close to our final result. So that is that is perfect. Now uh, let's go ahead and create a similar a, a another struct for our back view, our back card. So struct um, back card. And um, we are going to be creating body once again. And um, we're going to have edge stack. Then we're going to have V stack inside. And another V stack. With alignment. To be leading okay and uh, this V stack is going to have three H stacks so uh, uh, this is where we're going to show uh, the, the person uh, basically the name uh, of the person uh, whose business card is this uh, phone number and uh, some sort of address or something okay so we can uh, create H stack and Create an image, system name, person dot circle, foreground color to be white, and font to be title. Okay, then we're gonna have a text, a taggy. And foreground is going to be a 
white color and font is going to be title. Okay. So this is our first hashtag. I'm going to create another hashtag here. And uh, this uh, second hashtag is going to be phone dot circle and uh, it's going to be sub headline type so five okay awesome so then our foreign color and uh, sub headline there we go uh, that's our second one, and the third H stack is going to be the location. So, map in our circle, our line, and face, and white. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got so far back card. Okay, uh, so we should be showing, um, you should be seeing nothing actually because everything is white. So um, let's go ahead and see. So this is our H stack closing. Next is up our E stack, and uh, this is our V stack. So we're going to give the background for this one, castle, and um, going to give it a frame. Height of 200. Min width, I'm gonna give 500. Offset in X direction, you're gonna give negative 10. Okay. So uh, that is going to have our capsule. There we go. That is perfect. And uh, then, are going to have our AV stack. Okay, the V stack is going to have a circular image. And image is going to be DD local. It's going to have some padding and trailing with 20 points. And uh, now uh, we need to give some frame to our final container that the width as 400, height as 200, background as color dot orange once again, corner radius 20, shadow 10. Go ahead and take a look if our back card is looking the way it's supposed to. There you go. So our back card is looking good now. And uh, let's take a look at our front card. And uh, our front card is also looking good. And uh, now comes the animation part. So for the animation, we're going to be using something called a uh, geometry uh, geometry effect. So we're going to create a struct, uh, and we're going to call this flip effect. And this is of type geometry effect. OK? And uh, here, we're going to create, first of all, we're going to create animatable data. Animatable data, there you go. And it, it can be of type double, OK? And uh, it's going to get angle. Gonna get we're gonna create that angle. Okay, and uh, for the set, it's gonna basically say angle is equal to new value. Like so. So let's create our variable called angle. 
And we're also going to create a uh, binding for flip to see if, it, if the card is flipped, OK? Um, and then uh, we also, uh, OK, yeah, that we're going to conform in a minute. Access, OK, and access is going to be x, c, g, float. And Y C G float like so. Okay. All right. So next thing, uh, we're going to create a function effect value. Okay. This is what we've been complaining about. Um, and then uh, on the main thread, what we want to dispatch, um, dispatch main, dispatch Q dot main dot async okay is self dot flipped self dot angle so we're going to determine the angle if it's greater than or equal to 90 and self dot angle is less than 270 so this is going to give us the value of the flip okay and uh, yeah Good. Okay. Um, so we're going to get the tweak angle. By computing flipped, seeing if flipped is true, then you're going to have negative 180 plus the current angle value, or we're going to say angle. Okay. Now let's create a variable. So we're going to have degrees, tweak, angle, dot, radians, OK? And um, then we're going to use these values to basically transform. So first, we're going to create our 3D transform. So transform. The a transform 3D. First, we're going to create an identity. So default uh, identity transform, default transform. And then we're going to say transform 3D is equal to so transform 3D dot 3, 4. That is M3, 4. That actually changes the axis. Uh, and that value is going to be uh, negative 1, max of size dot width. And uh, I've already computed all these depending upon like, you know, how I wanted to alter this uh, direction uh, for the flip effect. And that's how I know like all these calculations. Um, transform 3D is equal to CA transform 3D. Rotate. And uh, we want to rotate on, first we're going to give uh, the existing transform. So transform 3D. And we're going to rotate on A, uh, the, the A value that we calculated. Uh, okay. Axis dot X. Okay. Axis dot Y. And Z is going to be zero. Okay. Then again, uh, we're going to say transform 3 is equal to translation. Okay. So CA transform. 3D translation is going to be once again because we are compositing uh, this uh, translation, um, this uh, transform, and we say size dot width negative of size dot width divided by two dot zero. So that means half of the size for the half of the width and half of the um, height by dividing height to width two dot zero. Okay. And um, yeah, so we need transform 3D, and we need third parameter zero, okay, the index, um, or, or the value. Um, okay, so now we're gonna have a fine transform. And this is gonna be projection transform. 
okay this is what it wants us to return and uh, we need the cdfi transform okay in this case and uh, gonna have translation x and uh, this translation x is going to have size dot width divided by two dot zero and uh, for the y value size dot height divided by two dot zero okay and um, now what we're going to return is projection transform transform 3d dot concatenate uh, if a fine transform so we're going to return these two values okay and now if you notice our flip effect is happy it's not complaining anymore okay so um our transform is done and let's do our last bit so let's go ahead and uh, create a v-stack, okay? And we're gonna have a spacer in this v-stack, first of all. Then a v-stack, which is going to have front card with opacity uh, if flipped. So we need something to flip and uh, something to track flip and animation. So let's go ahead and create to state variable. Like so, and uh, then we say flipped. If it is true, then that to be zero, otherwise 1.0. And um, for the back card, and say opacity, because one of them should be showing, right? So that's what we're setting here, and uh, we're gonna have modifier, okay? And this is what we're gonna use as a modifier. So we're gonna say flip effect as a modifier with flipped that we have created uh, to track. Um, and then angle is, um, so X is going to be for the X value one and uh, Y value zero. And angle is going to be if animated 3D, then 180, otherwise zero. Okay. And uh, now gonna have that on tap, tap gesture. Okay, so just at tap gesture with animation. And uh, let's take out this result guy. And um, as a top dot. Animate 3D dot toggle, and we also want to provide animation here. So animation dot. You can say it's a linear animation with duration of 0 0.8 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, and uh, we might need actually some spacer and stuff. So. Uh, um, Let's go ahead and add a spacer here. And that should actually move our view a little bit up. There we go. Okay. All right, that's awesome. And uh, we need some padding as well. So let's go ahead and take a look what we, uh, there's some calculation that we are actually, I mean, if that's the effect you're looking for, uh, that's a good effect, but that's not the effect that we are looking for. So let's go ahead and see what, what we have made a mistake in our flip geometry. Okay, so we have our angle, angle being set with new value and, um, we have x axis y axis okay so it must be here in this okay so flip to 
freegangle.radio. Okay, that is correct. Uh, if we are transforming right, and then translation is transform 3D, and uh, we are saying negative of width divided by 2 and size negative of size data that should actually fix it there we go yeah so uh, we were applying the height uh, which was basically changing the anchor uh, anchor point of the rotation so that's what the issue was so let's go ahead and rerun this and uh, we should have our center okay there we go so as you can see like you know now uh, with this error you got the um you got the idea like you know how you can change the anchor so um not this one okay uh, the other one this one this guy right here okay so if you want to change the anchor of the rotation you can actually uh simply uh change where your uh where your translation is taking effect and you can actually experiment with that right but we wanted a flip effect for this one so that's the flip effect uh, that we got okay so yeah so this is it for uh this video um i would I would recommend like, you know, going a little bit more deep into uh, geometry effect and I'll see if I can come up with some more examples for geometry effect because it's a little bit, uh, a little bit complicated, like, you know, to uh, when you look at it for the first time, but as you start using it, you're gonna get more comfortable with it. Um, so it's got like, you know, same transforms uh, that, uh, that I was as a platform provides, but the composition part varies slightly, not too much, but, but slightly. Okay, so with that said, um, this is it for uh, this video, and uh, thanks again for uh, watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and this cool animation. So thanks again for watching.